Okay, so trees aren't technically fractals, and the night sky is not necessarily a fractal, because if you zoom in far enough, you'll start seeing the atoms of the, tree, the stars, I suppose. Let's talk about a real, honest-to-goodness fractal, Sierpinski's Triangle. Vaslav Sierpinski, from 1882 to 1969, drew a fractal using an iterative process. That is, you repeat the same steps over and over. You, you iterate what you're doing. You start by drawing a triangle, then you put a dot in the middle of each side and connect them, and then you repeat this process for all of the triangles except for the one in the middle. Let me show you how this works. So you start with any triangle you want. Nice big triangle. If you learn nothing from this class, learn how to doodle in other people's classes. You put a dot in the middle of each of the three sides, and you connect them. Ish. Not a very good job. Ugh, I can do better than that. Anyway, you connect them. And then you ignore the triangle in the middle, but you do the same thing for the three triangles on the outside. I'm doing a pretty lousy job, but whatever. You'll get the picture. Right. And then in you iterate. You iterate. So in here, we ignore the triangle in the middle, and we connect the midpoints of these. We do the same here. We do the same here. We do the same here. And how long do we do this? We do this forever. Now, anyway, you don't want to watch a video of me doing this forever. I will do this last iteration, and you'll see that I'm being very, very sloppy. Anyway, this is Sierpinski's triangle. And if you do this forever, you see that, that this part right here is exactly the same as the whole thing. If it went on forever, there's a part of it. This little part of it looks like the whole thing. This is an object which contains parts of itself, in this, this case, many different parts of itself, that look exactly like the whole object. That is the very definition of a fractal. And here's a really cool fact about this. If you were to take three points, and for my own nefarious purposes, we'll call this one 1, 2, and this one 3, 4, and this one 5, 6. And you start at one of them. Let's say you start at one. And you roll a die. And on a 1 or a 2, you go halfway to this point. If you're already there, halfway to that, you just stay there. On a 3 or a 4, you go halfway to the 3, 4. On a 5 or a 6, you go halfway to the 5, 6. Um, let's say you roll a 1, 2, then you go halfway to the 1, 2, and you roll a 3, 4, you go halfway to the 3, 4. You know you roll a 4, you go there, you roll a 2, you go halfway to the 2, and so on. If you do this thousands upon thousands of times, you will, in fact, draw Sierpinski's Triangle. It's awesome. If you have a, the, the computer skills to, to program this, I highly recommend it. It is incredibly satisfying.